Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Many of you have asked for coverage on other emulators and whether or not I follow the progression of the emulation scene and the answer is, of course I do and here you are. Ryu Jinx is a rapidly developing Nintendo Switch emulator for PC. Today we're just going to take a quick surface look at where it is and let me tell you, the team is moving fast. I took a look at a few of the titles which currently boot and are at various stages of playability. Starting with Sonic Mania, it had fantastic audio and loaded quickly, however it runs too fast and needs frame limiting. Graphically it's on point but very difficult to control at such speeds. Follow that by Cave Story which had no sound and ran at around 20fps with certain graphical bugs. Interestingly, when I reached out to the community, there are what's called Audren builds which fix the sound issue. The team is moving so quickly that on the same day as recording this game footage, certain games like Cave Story already have less visual bugs in the latest builds. After that we have Binding of Isaac which had no sound and ran quite slowly between 10 to 20 FPS but its 2D visuals rendered very well, however it did load quite slowly. Follow that with Stardew Valley which for me didn't have working sound yet and suffered from a flipped image bug. There is a solution to this which is related to running Ryu Jinx in docked mode. Eventually it did crash however. The final game I took a look at was Tiny Barbarian which actually ran at around 60 FPS and seemed like great fun even through the visual corruptions and flickering. Ultimately the game specific bugs are somewhat arbitrary and redundant because the fact that certain titles are booting at all and are playable is absolutely incredible. The bugs will definitely be ironed out in time. New builds are being released daily and improvements are coming thick and fast. Ryu Jinx did fully utilize my CPU but that's not saying much of my i5-6400. You can find my specs in the description. Naturally Ryu Jinx is currently for the extreme emulation enthusiast who loves to tinker. It is some time away from being suitable for the masses. Having said that, certain things just worked which was fantastic such as my Xbox One controller just connected automatically. Now the golden goose topic. Simu the Wii U emulator absolutely exploded because of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and the equivalent blockbuster title for Ryu Jinx is of course Super Mario Odyssey. The game has actually booted but not into gameplay, not yet. Ryu Jinx is still yet to render 3D graphics. When that happens, things are gonna go insane. As a bit of a side note and something which will just make things a bit more user friendly, I am looking forward to having a GUI in Ryu Jinx. Now, I'm absolutely blown away by the progression Ryu Jinx is making and if and when the time comes for playable Super Mario Odyssey with custom resolutions, it's gonna be huge. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. If you want to keep up to date with all things Complaining Gamer, come follow me on Twitter or join the community Discord. All links are provided. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike and comment. And to know the latest Ryu Jinx info, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I will catch you in the next one.